Peggers family, how are you? I hope you are doing great. You're welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm welcoming you with a warm, warm hug. Welcome to the channel. So today, I want to make a butterfly gown, a short butterfly gown. So I'm inviting you to come sew with me. <laughs> I'm inviting you to the cutting table. Come along with me as I make this beautiful butterfly gown. It's going to be a fun one, trust me. All right, okay, let's head over to the cutting table and the sewing machine. <laughs> so we're here right now. So I have my sewing items. I have my chalk, I have my ruler, I have my tape, I have my thread, and the needle. Oh, Sorry, the pins, my scissors. Okay. So I have all this. Then my fabric. This fabric is two and a half. The fabric is two and a half. Then I also have this um, doll face material. So let's start cutting. So I folded my fabric into two the first time. Then I further folding it into two again, making it four. So I folded my fabric into four because I'm going to be cutting the back and the front together. I'm going to be using here for the shoulder. That's going to be my shoulder. So I'm taking my full length measurement, which is 40. My full length measurement is 40. I want it to be a short gown. So right now I'm taking my shoulder slanting. From the shoulder, you just mark down one inch and then connect it to the shoulder to so slant it so it can balance well on the shoulder when you wear it so the next thing i'm doing right now is to take my neck depth measurement so for the neck depth i think i'm going to go with um two and a half for the neck depth then for my neck width i'm going to be taking them um, three and a half which is um, seven in total so I'm going with three and a half so I'm going to connect that line to my neck depth I'm going to connect them together right now so after that after I finish connecting I'm going to make a curve to give you the shape of the neck I want so I'm going for a round neck, although I will change it back to, I'm going to change the front to a v-neck later. Then I'm cutting out that shoulder slanting. So I've cut out the shoulder slanting. Now. The next thing I'm going to do is to um, get my v-neck for the front, the v-neck. So that's what I want to do right now. Take, but before I do that, I'm going to take out the back piece so that I don't make a mistake. And then when I've done that, I fold the front piece into two so that I can get my v-neck. For the v-neck, I'm going to take seven. Seven inches is okay. I don't want it to be too deep. Then I'm connecting it to the neck depth just like I'm doing right now. So I'm going to cut it out right now. So after I'm done cutting out, I'm going to join it back to the back piece which I removed and then pin the two shoulders and pin the shoulder to shoulder, pin it in place so that it doesn't move out move about you need to pin it together so after i'm done pinning i'm going to put it together again i'm like i'm going to fold it into two again making sure that both of them align then right now i'm going to take all my measurement my bust measurement my waist measurement and then my hip line measurement i'll be needing them to mark this butterfly 
So I've marked out those lines, the bust, the waist, and the hip. So right now I'm going to take my bust measurement. My bust measurement is 35 divided by 2. I mark it out. 35 divided by 4 rather. I mark it out. Then I take my waist measurement, my waist measurement. Divided by four, I mark the out plus my allowance. I'm taking two inches sewing allowance and ease allowance. So one inch for sewing, one inch for ease. Then my hip is 14 divided by four, I have 10 plus my ease allowance and my sewing allowance and mark it out there. So the next thing is to connect these lines together. I've done just that, connected the lines together. So the other space is where I am going to use, this space right now is the butterfly space. So I'm going to replicate this measurement I've done on the other side. So I'm going, just going to mark out those lines so I don't make any errors. I'm going to replicate them just as you see me do. So I'll flip it to the other side and mark the same measurement the way I did it on the first side. I'm going to take out my measurement again on this other side and I'll mark it out. Yeah. So I'm done that. I'm taking the measurement on both sides. The next thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to go to the sewing machine, join the shoulders together, around the shoulders together. Then I'll also run my side. Starting from this point, I'm going to leave a space from the shoulder to that particular point is about eight inches allowance for the arm hole. So, Trying to stitch the shoulder together. Mm. Yeah, so that's me. Doing the job on the manual machine. <laughs> mm, my my thread has cut. Thread has cut, so I need to fix the thread. Okay, so we have to flip it. Yeah, I'm done sewing the shoulders, so. My thread keeps cutting. I don't know why. So I have to fix it. I hope it doesn't cut anymore. So now I will, I'm done fixing the thread, so I have to continue. I forgot to add that when I was sewing the downside, that when I was hemming the down part of my clothes, I added hemming gum to keep it strong. So right now I'm cutting out the front um, pattern that I'm going to be putting, the front um, design that I'm going to be putting in front of the dress. So that's what I'm trying to do right now to carve it out just the way I want it, with the shape that I desire. That's what I'm doing right now, carving it out. So I'm trying to give it a curve so that it will have a beautiful shape. I don't just, I don't want it to be just squared. That's why I'm kind of giving it a beautiful curve. But you can also give your own any type of shape you have. You can you can leave it squared, you can give it a round shape, any type of shape at all. But me, I'm going to be going with this shape right here. 
that I just designed. So I'm going to be cutting out another pattern of it. So I'm going to use that one to I'm turn it. I'm adding the neck. Just like I said, I've sewn the neck round of it. So I'm back now. So I want to place this one, this part down here now on it like so, like this. So I'm going to go to the sewing machine and sew it round like this. So you can cut this thing to any shape of your choice. Anyhow you want to cut it, you can cut it. Any, any desire, you want it round, you want it square, you want it anyhow, you just cut it. So I've decided that this is, this is how I want to cut my own. So I decided to make it like this. So that's why. So I'm going to take it now to the sewing machine and iron it. Then I'm going to now run it around like this. But before I do that, I'm going to pin it down so that it doesn't move out of place. So I'm done pinning it now. I'm done pinning it now. So I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and run, run the thread on it. So because I had already joined the both sides before placing the doll face design in front, I couldn't use my machine to sew it together. So I, I decided to use an alternative, which is the gun, the hot iron, the hot gum to gum it. And then I also went for some stones to design the front to add some beauty to it. You can see the G letter, which stands for Gloria. And I also colored the doll face material and used it as a bias to finish the raw edges of the dress. So this is the final look of the butterfly gown. So I decided to use a green doll face because the fabric has tiny green lines. So the green will help to pop it out. So this is the final look. I want to know what you think about this short butterfly dress. Are you going to be rocking something like this? Are you going to recommend it for someone? Let me know in the comment section. So this is me rocking the outfit. It's looking so chic and elegant. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate your time on my channel. Please remember to like and subscribe. I love you so much. God bless you. Bye.